Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome back to German Turtle 5. We are doing the three stars on every arcade mission, light side missions. So first up, we have Yavin 4, save our skins. So the big thing to remember on this mission is you have no abilities. You have half of your health. Your enemy has half of their health. It's eight of you against 12 of them, and they are on normal difficulty. Now, basically, this one's just a bit of a battle, um, and it's sort of a 50-50 match. A lot of these are actually just 50-50 matches and then you sort of have to find a tiebreaker somehow. Now with this one you want to get an early lead because your team does suffer uh, having four less units on it. And uh, the overall strategy in the end tends to be get a hero, get ahead by a couple of points, find some good positions like what I've got here and you should be fine. It's honestly just a bit of a fight. So here's me using Luke Skywalker. You'll see because he's got half his health he's pretty useless. Um, navigating the battlefield you take a ton of damage but what you can do is make up for it by quickly taking out four or five of their guys and that's how you want to go about it. Now you are allowed to die, you are very much allowed to perish on the battlefield so take advantage of that. Don't die too often, obviously, and make sure you come out winning. Uh, my lightsaber disappeared there, so interesting glitch moment, but it came back, which is nice. Uh, at least we have confirmation that we can deflect blaster bolts, and there we go. So you can see we got quite a few kills with Luke there, and that's what turned the tide in our, in our favor, yeah. And then my units did the rest of the work on that map anyway. Alrighty, next up is Let the Wookiee Win on Tatooine. So you get a precise minimap, you have one life, no abilities, and the enemy takes one shot to die. And you've also only got 10 seconds to begin with. So, first of all, you've spawned in the perfect place. Uh, make sure you hide in the cantina. In that same corner as we used in the dark side uh, playthrough will do, but you can use pretty much the entire cantina. Let them group up and uh, watch the door to your rear. That's my only advice for this one. You want to sort of run around and save up about 20 seconds worth of time, and then after that you just hide and shoot. That's literally it. Um, easy as. A couple of these challenges for the third stars, they are quite easy. You just need to be careful. That's that's the only big thing. Don't go running out into open areas with Han. Uh, he is pretty weak, obviously. And you've only got the one life, so if you die, that's it. Now you can see here I got a bit surrounded and things got a little bit crucial. So I ran back to the room. But we've saved up about 20 seconds, so that's the perfect time to head back there anyway. And we'll just let him heal up as well. It's important that you give your heroes time to heal up. Uh, pretty standard map to win, though. Alrighty, so next up is Attack of the Droids on Kamino. Now this one is fun. So both teams, you die with one shot and you don't have any abilities, which means you can't use the heavy shield. Now I found the most accurate and useful weapon in this instance was the officer pistol. Now you see me here watching this trooper run past. I advise, as a general tip, use your troops to tell you where the enemies are. If you see your troops going to run, running towards an area, that usually indicates there's enemies there. If they're running away from blaster fire, you know that enemies are around the corner. And obviously, if you see your troopers die, you know where not to go. Now, constantly check your back in this one, because otherwise, these guys will get you. One useful thing about those particular hallways made of glass is you can see the enemy around the corner. So that's not even a half bad place to be. Obviously, avoid open areas. Moving swiftly onwards, this one was a little bit of a brain teaser, but I figured it out relatively quickly. So, on this map, uh, we must face them. Takodana. No mini-map and fast ability recharge. So, what was the solution? Well, Ray can see through walls, so who needs a mini-map? Yes, we only get 30 seconds, but we know every enemy's location. Now, all we needed to do here was use some of Ray's force powers, and it was a very easy get-go. Uh, that That's really it. I mean, that's the strategy. Uh, see through walls, use force powers, kill enemy, uh, and listen to her begging for a job. 
she she constantly asks them if they're here to offer her a job um yeah so that's it you you have a fast ability regeneration so make sure you use it all righty moving swiftly onwards here goes nothing on tatooine so you get no map no abilities and a weak ai now what's very interesting about this one is the enemies group up for some reason and so do your allies so there seems to be some sort of safety and numbers theme going on on this map it's very interesting and you'll see um you'll see what that looks like in just one second here it was very interesting <laughs> yeah, um, I quickly realized that it was a good idea to stick with your own troops. Uh, first of all that, second of all, you need to know that there's 12 of them against 8 of you. So you are constantly outnumbered and after a while, after a while I sort of came to terms with the uh, fact that the best way to get kills on this map was to shoot from above and from corners. Uh... Yep, yeah, it's just a straight on battle with your allies. Make sure you take advantage of your allies being around. It's a good distraction. Alrighty, so up next is There Is No Try on Naboo. Obviously a Yoda quote there. So it's 6 versus 8, expert difficulty AI, and you get jet troopers. Now you also have no map and double your normal health. So Naboo is infamous for having way too many different corners where enemies can just suddenly appear from and shoot you in the back. Uh, basically, this is a bit of a hard slog. You, The main game here... Or the main idea to win this is you want to be saving up these points so I'm just going to quickly cut through some points here 800 2200 over 3000 then we got Yoda now this is what you want you want to save it for the Jedi with the double health up until here it's been pretty much a 50 50 battle uh, I've been doing a little bit better than the droids but some less experienced players may not do so well now this is where you really turn the tide use yoda use all of his force powers knock over those droids you do have to run around and find a couple of them here and there but uh i did all the editing for you so you don't have to watch me do that but yeah once you've got the jedi you secure victory with a low number of troops remaining and that's that really that's a wrap Okay, so this next mission actually intrigues me a little bit. So this is Hope on Yavin 4. Now you have 40 seconds on the clock. Ignore it, I hardly even noticed it myself. You get a precise map, one life only, one hit only, and your enemies have one hit only. Now the original idea behind this mission was to, like, to make you feel like you're a rebel covering your, your allies' retreats. Now this area I'm shooting in here, this is going to be your main base of operations for this map. Uh, enemies will come from this general direction. <clears throat> and it looks like they can come from here, but they can't because it's out of bounds. So use that to your advantage. Now, unfortunately I did find a rather easy loophole. The first few times I tried this it was intense. 
but yeah, heavy with a shield, crouched, and you're pretty much invincible. An enemy can hit your head, it can happen, but it doesn't really ever happen to me. So, obviously I just waited, and they came, and they never destroyed my shield. Assuming you kill them fast enough, they don't get any shots in on your shield, you're absolutely fine at that stage. So you can see that guy shot my shield once, did absolutely jack squat. Now there's one guy, I'm pretty sure this is pre-programmed, one guy will always come up behind you, just in case you're doing the shield technique and you're not watching the radar. But yeah, fairly simple way to win this, unfortunately. I do recommend giving it a go with a different trooper class, just for the experience, because it is scary. It, it, it is so... It, it's just in-depth and it feels like you're actually there. Uh, you know, holding off a horde of Imperials. Now the timer is just there to make you panic, don't worry, they're all on their way. And it's as easy as that. Alrighty, so lucky last is Resistance on the Starkiller base. Now this one was interesting, you can choose of any of the heroes. Um, but you do have some pros and cons, so you get a precise map, you have 30 seconds to defeat 30 enemies. Um, I go to a particular hallway on this map, and it works for both the dark and light side versions of this map. Uh, make sure you pay attention to where we go here. Now you only get one life, however your big advantage is a fast ability recharge. Now, that fast ability recharge uh, is countered by the enemies being tough enemies, which means they take twice as long to kill. However, I discovered that with the use of force powers, every enemy takes, well, dies instantly, no matter how much health they have. So force powers are your biggest friend here. Um, so what you want to do here is attract them to this end of the map. You'll see on my radar, I'm waiting for these sort of six dots to come together a bit before I start unleashing my powers. And Luke has some really nicely reworked force powers in this game, so it's very easy to do this. Just keep pushing those force powers out, make sure you give your character time to reheal, regenerate some health, sorry, uh, and just keep pushing out the force powers. You'll get into a pattern eventually. But basically, you've got about four or five directions to look at here. And it just, it just filters all the stormtroopers towards you, which is perfect for what you want here. Just back and forth, knocking them out, keeping our time from going to zero. And make sure you don't let them surround you, that's a big problem. Uh, because you're going to need your health in the later stages when they do actually surround you. So you want to sort of hold off them surrounding you until about the last three to four people. Look how quickly those force powers recharge. So useful. Now see, that was almost dead end there. We were lucky to escape all of that. That's how quickly this stuff can turn on you, though. When you're running down this hallway as well, do a bit of zigzagging. Uh, every second shot will miss, but that's going to be like a, a super good way to extend the amount of time you're alive. Just keep using the force powers. Doesn't matter how strong or weak they are, they all die to force powers. One left, and there's your victory, peeps. So that is how you do all of the arcade missions and get three stars on absolutely every single one of them. This has been German Turtle, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys around. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Thanks again. Ta-ta.